So a car starts from rest and goes in a circle with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Okay? After 10 seconds, I want you to analyze what's going to happen here. After 10 seconds, tell me what is its tangential acceleration, what is its centripetal acceleration, what is the total acceleration, what is the theta of the total acceleration. Okay, so this is a, a quicker problem. You know, we could do this. It's not too bad. A car starts from rest, goes in a circle with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. In 10 seconds, what is AT? What is the tangential acceleration? Now, the tangential acceleration is not changing. You see the acceleration here that is given? That is the tangential acceleration. The problem doesn't have to tell you the tangential acceleration is 2. When the car is going around the curve and the acceleration is true, that's understood as the tangential. Okay? So the tangential acceleration is not changing. So after 10 seconds, it's still 2 meters per second squared. Okay? What's the centripetal acceleration? Well, in order to get the centripetal acceleration, we need the tangential velocity. We need the tangential velocity in 10 seconds, and then we need to square that, and then we need to divide it by the radius of the circle. Well, actually, I need to give you that info, right? It's missing. So let's assume here the radius of the circle is, uh, uh, let's say, something like 25 meters. The car is going around a 25 meter circle radius. So how do we find the tangential velocity? we got to use the equations of constant acceleration, right? V final is V initial plus AT. Remember the first equation of linear kinematics. If an object is accelerating at a constant rate, then the final velocity that it will have is equal to the initial plus the acceleration times T. So, so V initial is zero. The A is 2 times 10, so 20. The final velocity that it will have after 10 seconds is 20 meters per second. Now, you can take that and put it here. And calculate the centripetal acceleration. Uh, that's 400 over 25, which is 16, right? 16 meters per second squared. Okay, now from that, we can now calculate what is the total acceleration and what is the angle of the total acceleration. Sixteen squared plus two squared. It's probably going to be like 16 point something or and its angle is going to be tangent inverse of 2 over 16. And while you're doing that, I'll draw the picture here. The picture is going to look something like this. This is uh, 16, this is 2, and uh, it's probably going to be smaller here. This is going to be 2, and this is 2. The angle needs to be a small angle. 
right? Like, what is that? In other words, the centripetal acceleration, the t total acceleration is only seven degrees ahead of the centripetal. It's close to the centripetal. That means the centripetal acceleration is dominating the acceleration. The tangential acceleration is small. Okay. Now, we can let's do a second example so that I can show you what happens. 